This section on pathology, I'm going to be talking about burns. So with burns, basically what they are is, according to R Ruth Warner, um, burns are caused by damage to the, the skin that causes the cells to die. They can be caused by fire, overexposure to the sun, the dry heat even, wet heat, electricity, radiation, extreme cold, and toxic chemicals can cause these things. And there's three different levels, basically, of um, burns. There's a first-degree burn. That's, if you ever got a sunburn, that's typically what a um, first-degree burn is. So it's just mild inflammation. Second-degree burn can be also um, a sunburn, too, but that usually involves blister, blistering and damage at deeper levels of the epidermis. And the third level goes down into the dermis itself and often show white or black charred edges. So with anything with burns, let me set this book down. Um, anything with burns, oops, dropped it. <laughs> anything with burns, you want to make sure that it's totally healed. So the acute stage would be when they just received it. And that, and even the little bit of the subacute stage when it starts to heal, but when it's totally healed, that's when it's okay to massage that area. But you still got to play caution with that too because um, you don't know how much damage there was done because typically... With um, burns, especially more severe burns, sometimes it kills the nerve endings and they can't feel things as good. But that's why you want to make sure you communicate with the person as much as possible um, during the treatment. And if you're ever going to give the person a hot stone treatment and they, you know they've had burns in the past, those areas you might not want to lay hot stones on because they can't feel things as good then. And they're more likely to get more burns too. So with hot stones, make sure you look into the indications and contraindications as much as possible. Even some liability insurance companies do not cover hot stones now because there's more indications of people um, actually getting burned through the rocks. But that's why myself, I always use two to three bath towels and I always place them on my forearm before I start massaging the body or I'll lay the towels down and um, if it's just a little bit hotter, um, not not enough to place on my my form, but I think I can tolerate. I I lay the hot um lay the towel down, make sure it's a thick towel, and then lay the rocks on top of that. And once they start cooling down, then you can test them on your forearm, and then you can start massaging the body. But everybody is going to be different to so what they can tolerate. So that's why I make sure you check you know, with the person, make sure you verbally verbally <laughs> verbally um, check in with them every now and then just to make sure um, that you're not going to burn them then. But make sure you check with your liability insurance and see if they will cover hot stones or river stones or um, hot rock therapy, whatever you call it then, or even list stone. And again, just make sure with the burns, once it's totally healed, even when it's kind of crusted, don't massage it either because you want to make sure that it's even healed a few weeks after that because you want the scar tissue to start healing a little bit. And then once it's healed, then you can start breaking up that scar tissue. So that's my belief. And if you want to learn a lot more, there's tons of pictures and a lot of more information. Ruth Werner's a uh, the therapy, uh, a massage therapy's guide to pathology. So get that book um, if you want to get more into depth with that. But I just gave you the basics of the whole pathology and burns. And so again, there's first, second, and third. First degree is isn't as severe, and it gets the third, and that's when it's more severe then. And again, just communicate with the client. That's the main thing you can do because if you don't communicate with them, more likely they're not going to come back. So. Any kind of comments, suggestions, people that you dealt with that have had burns in the past, leave in the comment section below. Thank you.